All right, we finally made it to the area where we need to be. <laughs> Took me a while, but I got here. And we got lots and lots of ruins, which are always fun to run around in. Especially when there's all kinds of nastiness. So let's talk to the girl again. The tweet. Look at this place. It must be tremendously old. Centuries, even. Older than that. The Dwarven civilization lasted for more than 2,000 years, and this might be one of their first structures. Damn. It's so sad that the Dwarves all turned to stone and went to fight the dragons. Sad, but brave. The Dredge brought the sword here to find a way to destroy it. We'd better hurry before they succeed. You're absolutely right. First, we have to cross that windy bridge. I can use my magic to fly, but... You'll have to foot it. Oh, thanks. Those flags and the torches flutter when the wind rises, so watch them carefully. Use the walls for cover. Keep your footing, go as fast as you can, and don't worry. It'll be cherry. It'll be cherry. Here we go. Okay, um... Watch the flags and use the walls for cover. That wind is fierce. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Okay. Just keep an eye on stuff. Okay, there we go. We'll go loot to the next section. Uh Ah oh, no! <laughs> Damn. Never give up. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I fell. Oh, man. Why would anyone want to live underground? If you ask me, both dwarves and Asura have some serious issues. <laughs> Both dwarves and Asura have some major issues. <laughs> okay, so I guess it took me across. Okay. I know these symbols from my priory training. Um. This is the tomb of Dagnar Stonepate of the Stone Summit Dwarf. Dagnar killed a human prince named Rurik. Oh shit! The peace between the kingdoms of Kryta and Ascalon. That's why that name that sounded familiar. Must be the ghost of Dagnar's Drake Mount. I don't think it's noticed us. Ignore it and find a way to get up to that ledge. You never learned that trick. Huh. Well, looks like you'll have to climb. I think I see a path to the top. I'll mark it for you. Follow the trail of sparks. I really don't like this place. And I think in that last little section during the cutscene, I think my uh, my recording software had a hiccup. I'm not sure, but I have to do a double check. But I think there was a small hiccup. Ooh, okay. And then, okay, so I gotta go this way. Okay. And then I gotta go. Oh, up here, okay. I think. Right? Maybe? Perhaps. Hmm. I can try and open a portal for you. This might explode. <laughs> then then don't open a portal. <laughs> I don't want to explode. It's it's not it's it's not conducive to my lifestyle. Okay, here we go. Nor are like the most unjumping people in the world. And over here. There we go. I made it. You did great. I know I, I did. You could do it. Why are all these things dead? Okay. Um Whoever that Norn was, his friends took out these dredge. They took the sword too. No what Norn? us on the way in. So they must still be in here. Maybe down this hallway. Let's go. Oh, great. Ow! Okay, so I don't want to touch those. <laughs> okay, can I zoom out a little bit? No. 
Okay, there we go. There we go. Tomb Raiders, as opposed to Tomb Researchers. We're the good guys, they're the bad guys. Sons of okay. Spanier, that's why. Okay, Sons of Svanir, that, that explains everything. Intruders, protect the dragon's blood sword. Feel the cut of this sacred blade, brother. May Torvag straight through. Destroy them. I will escape with the blade. I feel incredible strength coursing through my veins. Well, Pray keep feeling it. Torvag. All right, we're going to finish you off, dude. Let's keep my health up. Let's put you down. Oh, can't put you down. Now put you down. We're just going to keep on pounding. Then we gotta catch up with douchebag there. I took the sword. When did I become Indiana Jones? <laughs> Stieg Frostbeard? I've heard of him. He's a son of Svania. They're dragon cultists, and, and Stieg is a mean one. If he's got the sword, it'll be nothing but trouble. Did you see what happened when the blade cut his friend? It turned that Norn into a monster. I saw. That looked like dragon corruption to me. I guess the sanguinary blade really is made of dragon's blood. Huh. Gix was right. That's bad news for us, too. That sword will corrupt anyone that holds on to it for too long. I think I know who Before my boss is. Before we it for the Derman Priory, we'd better find a way to protect ourselves from the corruption. What about the sword's original scabbard? The dwarves must have made it strong enough to contain the blade. True. But how do we find that scabbard? It might be easier to create something of our own, using priory knowledge. Give it a rumble in your brain, and let me know when you've made a choice. Okay, decision time. I don't like making decisions. Greetings. Let's see. We can't just carry it around like a tree branch. What do we do now? Um. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right. Well, looks like we're off to demand priory. <laughs> All right. So, do I want a hammer? Either way. And eh, we'll take the sword this Bow time. Bow to me in my progress. <laughs> Bow to me in my progress. Awesome. Oh snap, I got a new helmet. Condition damage, condition damage. Oh, they're all the same. Divinity, Citadel, Power, Fury. Oh wow, okay. Um, plus five to all stats. Let's take this one. All right, well, I guess that uh, I will meet you back at the Dermon Priory. Here we go. And we are back to create a containment field or a container thing to contain the sword so that we don't get corrupted by it. Let's talk to homegirl. This place is creepy. Why are we here again? <laughs> That statue of Grenth has been leaking magic. I couldn't think of anything else that matches the power of the Sanguinary Blade. 
We'll take some shavings from the statue. If we can build a containment vessel to hold those safely, it should be able to suppress the sword. First, the fragments. Then we hurry to the Priory and work on a vessel. Ready? What? You're not scared, are you? It's just a spooky tunnel that's collapsing. <laughs> it's just a spooky tunnel that's collapsing. No big deal. <laughs> All right, well, these guys are going to pose to be a problem, so let's take them out. Let's do this, then. Ow. Let's take these guys out. That was interesting. It's a big-ass monster trying to kill this us, but it's amazing. interesting. I wonder what it was for. You know what? So do I, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. Wow, I just got tossed around like a freaking ragdoll. Alright, let's keep on going. There we go. Right on. Another one. This time I'm putting you down first. Ha ha. Interrupted you. Oh, the uh, time I got it. <laughs> okay, next one. You're next. Let's take you down. This place is creepy. Why are we here again? <laughs> it's interesting. You're only trying to freaking kill us. Incredibly spooky hidden path with a giant statue of a god of death. This was surprisingly pleasant. <laughs> Compared to what? I've got what we need. Let's head back. Oh, Jesus. Get off of me. Ah, uh, get off me, you punks! Oh my god! I think we pissed Grinth off. <laughs> yep, I think it's safe to say we pissed him off. These guys here really aren't a problem, so I'm just gonna ignore them until we get out. Alright. And we meet back at the, the, the Derman Priory. Alright, we are back. And we are going to test out the scabbard to see if it works. I think I gotta go up here, yep. Okay, so. Up we go. Let's go talk to Saren. And test out our scabbard. I borrowed some artifacts from the Priory Vault and rigged this together. It looks totally cherry. I'm sure it'll work fine. Actually, Siren, it looks horribly dangerous. Won't someone notice those things when missing? Oh, honestly, these have been gathering dust in the vault for years. Nobody wants them, so who'll care? <laughs> I got a jadeite rune of holding, then modified it and wove the whole thing onto a shadow shard. Now, all the enchantments are merged. When the Sanguinary Blade is put into the Shadow Shard, it'll technically be off this plane of existence. The sword won't be able to corrupt anything. Huh. But, um, there's one problem. I need to tune the enchantments to work together instead of tearing themselves apart, or it could collapse the mountain. Oh, Jesus. Wait, what? Collapse the... Siren. No, 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 no. It'll work, I promise. While I'm doing that, though, things could get exciting, so keep your weapon out. 
The things you call exciting are what most people would call reckless endangerment. <laughs> oh, come on, novice, cheer up. The worst that could happen is that we're lost forever in shadow, but more likely we'll just have to mop up some shades. Here goes. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll let you know when the containment unit is ready to activate. Oh, boy. The magical leakage seems to be coming from... Siren, Novice, what are you two doing? Give me that thing. I'll stop this. This thing is so cross-enchanted, it could power a spurious logic golem. But the theorems all made sense. Exactly. You can't apply sense with technology. You two, defend me while I desensify this mess. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Oh. So much for getting the drop on them. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, they interrupted my healing. Yes, I'm ready to defeat anything. Okay, now I gotta heal up a little bit. That was a bulk of one after me. Take your aha! <laughs> That's why I'm a tank. <laughs> so much power. Let's get them off me a little bit. Ah! Son of a pup! It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Ah! Uh, didn't want that to happen either. You get your ugly ass face out of my face, you ugly bastard! Oh, missed. All right, turn around, turn around, turn around. Take him on one at a time, Doc. One at a time. That's right, you kiss my butt. You kiss it good. You kiss it and like it. Kiss my hiney. Like it. Just lick it right in the butthole, you fucker. Oh, now what? What's next? A, a graded later one? Eat it! Yeah, something told me coming here and making something would, would be a bad idea. Watch him actually have the scabbard already. That, that's gonna piss me off. Watch him already have the scabbard in storage. And you're like, oh no, we've, we've had this. We put you down again. There we go. Success. The shades are gone, and the containment field seems to be working. I should have known the magical transfluctuation was your doing, Siren. Inexcusable. What is this patchwork drivel you've created? You put a... with a... By the alchemy! Brilliant! Insane, but absolutely ingenious! <laughs> you think like an Asura, you womp-leaved lunatic, but you don't take proper precautions. If I hadn't come along when I did... I'm sorry, Steward Gix. I thought... I mean, we needed to contain the sword, and nobody wanted this stuff. If this wasn't such an innovative creation, I'd toss you out on your twigs. As it is, you're both on probation. No argument. Oh, jeez. Priory anarchists have scried Stieg Frostbeard's location. He's hiding in an encampment near Black Barl's mill. Get out of here. And take this mad contraption with you. If you foul this up, 
I'll throw you to the termites, you pernicious petal brain. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he likes to use the, the name calling, doesn't he? Alright, so what do we got here? We got... Peridot. Amethyst. I want the amethyst. Alright, guys. I will meet you at Black Barrels Mill. We will be back. And here we go. We are about to fight Stig Frostbeard and get back that dragon sword. Hello there, Norn. We're here from the Dermond Priory, and your friend Stig has something that belongs to us. We're just here for Frostbeard. Bring us the sword he carries, and we won't hurt you. Pathetic little bookworms. Stieg Frostbeard is mighty. He will attack Lion's Arch, and we will show you all Dragon's power. Bad idea. Stieg's blood sword is a holy relic of the dragon, Jormag. The dragon blesses Stieg for his faithful service. He will lead us to victory. It's not too late. Please, think about what you're doing. The dragon may give you power, but in exchange, he's made you slaves. Abandoned dragon in his time of triumph? <laughs> Why would we do that? Because you're stupid. Lion's Arch is filled with innocent people. You can't do this. They aren't listening, novice. Time to switch to plan B. Go get them! <laughs> Sick them! <laughs> Ow. Allow me to return the favor. Yep, I'll return the favor. Okay, there you go. There you go. Eat that. And you eat some of this. Is power worth so much pain? Uh, apparently, yes, it is. <laughs> Make sure you stay down for a little while there, pal. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Get off me. Alright, let's heal up a little bit. And then we'll continue to take the fight to Steed. Here we go. The dragon's blood blade cannot be defeated. I will destroy you. Oh great. They're all corrupted now. Oh, okay. So they're not going to fight. Oops. That was a little preemptive. Okay. So let's go. Stieg. Alright, put you down. Because you're really pissing me off. Alright, switch. Damage per second it is. Alright, Doc, turn around. Back to the hammer. Put him down. Heal up. What do you think I've been doing, girl? <laughs> Put him down. Here. 
Just keep on pounding him. <laughs> we'll get him. Put him down. So his own men, even though he lost his mind, so... So this, I don't feel so bad. Not worthy of sword. No, you were not. Huh. <sighs> well done, novice. The sanguinary blade is ours, and Lion's Arch is safe from Stieg Frostbeard. It's hard to believe that Stieg was willing to see all his Norn friends die just to keep the power of the sanguinary blade. That's not hard for me to believe at all, novice. It's typical of the idiots who serve elder dragons. <laughs> the dragons are a blight. They don't care about anything but their hunger. Their followers are just... bad. Even if we find a way to save the world from the dragons, I sometimes wonder if we'll ever find a way to save us from ourselves. Hmm. When Gix told me I was going to be mentoring a new novice, I thought it would be an incredibly boring task. Oh, thanks. But you know what? I really like you. You're willing to try new things, and you've got a good head on your shoulders. She thinks I'm sexy. Thanks, Siren. I have to admit, this has been a lot of fun. Cherry, come on, let's get the sword back to Gix. After that, we'll work on saving the world. She thinks I'm sexy. <laughs> All right, guys, I will meet you at the Dur uh, Durman Priory once again, and uh, we'll uh, see you about ending this section of the series. Hang out one second, I'll meet you there. All right, guys, here we go. And I think this should be the, the last segment for this uh, piece of the storyline. I could be wrong, but let's find out. At last, the sanguinary blade. I shudder to think of the damage it would have wrought without your aid. You've both done well. Consider yourselves off probation. Further, novice, I hereby promote you to the rank of explorer, with all the rights and privileges, etc., etc. Etc., etc. I'd like you to continue your partnership with Siren. Perhaps you can keep this deciduous do-gooder out of trouble. Thank you, Steward Gix. I'd be happy to collaborate with Siren. We work well together. Poor Gix. You're just jealous that you're stuck in here being leadery and responsible while we're having all the fun. Yes, yes. I'm sure that's exactly what it is. Be that as it may, I must rely on you two for another project. Your next endeavor is a research assignment involving one of the lesser races of Tyria. Do try not to teach them bad habits, Siren. Hmm? <laughs> Explorer, get a briefing from Siren and choose which species you'd like to study. Now, go. All right, let's choose my next research project. <laughs> we'll try not to teach them bad habits. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Hylic, the Grawl, and the Ogres. You know what? The Hylix are frogs, the Growler are monkeys, and the Ogres are just big ass things that, that's the size of Norn. So let's go talk to the Ogres. Let's do the Ogres. Other than their dedication to their pets. Okay, you know what? Let's talk. Let's, let's, let's do Ogres. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Scroll of Knowledge. Boots of Barca. Five bags of loot. Oh my god. Oh, I got all of them. Sweet. All right. Finished it off. Level 42. And I think that's... Ooh. I get a helmet. Let's see. Vitality. Power. Precision. Vitality. And I got a miniature? Okay. Oh, I unlocked. Oh, okay. I can get miniatures now. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for this episode. And remember, if you guys like what you're seeing, hit that like. Punch that subscribe button right square in its face. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!